Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Sorry if I sound a little bit nasally. Um, I didn't realize I was nasally, but apparently I am. But I am here to do a Bath and Body Works and Hallmark Store video. Um, I had a coupon for the Hallmark Store, and I decided to pick up some interesting candles. And then Bath and Body Works had that free um, hardworking hand and body cream. And then I picked some other stuff up. So the first fresh picked hand cream that I got is the Heirloom Cranberries. I also have this as a soap and as a full-size hand sanitizer and a regular pocket bag. Now, to me, the Heirloom Cranberries smells almost like a bakery cranberry. It smells to me like a Danish, like a cranberry Danish. I don't know if anybody else gets that, but that's what I first smell whenever I smell this. I really, really like that. Then I picked up Fresh Picked Pears. Now, I wanted to get the Fresh Picked Wild Mint, but um, I ended up not getting that one because they didn't have it in stores when I was there. They had it, but they sold out. Now, the Fresh Picked Pears is very just plain. Like, it's nothing exciting. It just smells like a fresh pear. There's nothing else to say about that. Then I have Honey Crisp Apple, which I really do like the Honey Crisp Apple a lot. Um, it's almost like, I'm trying to think about exactly what it smells like. It almost smells like, I mean, it's definitely apple -y. This one's the hardest to describe of all the apples. Um, it's not like a Macintosh apple. It's more of like a just crisp apple, hence the name Honey Crisp. It's a very sweet, crisp apple. That's what I'm going for. Then I have the Fresh Picked Meyer Lemon, is this appearing really well? There we go. And this one is one of my favorites. I really like the Meyer Lemon a lot. I really do. It just smells like a bright lemon. It doesn't smell like Lemon Pledge or anything like that. Just like a bright lemon. I really, really like that one. So that was absolutely it for Bath & Body Works. I didn't really go hog wild. So next I'm going to talk about the Hallmark Store. There was an item that was $7.95 with any purchase. And it is a Woodwick candle in the fragrance Harvest Time. It's this big, and compared to the hardworking hand cream, it's about half. It's really raining here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's not filled to the top, or like I thought it would be like filled right to here, but it's actually really far down. And I haven't burned it yet. It has a plus wick. Now, to me, this smells like like a bakery corn, like a cinnamony corn. It's really odd. But I figured for $8, I can burn it and then use the container because it's actually a really pretty container. I really, really like that one. Then I picked up a ribbon wick candle, and it looks like a pumpkin, which is really, really cute. And I've already burned this one time, but as you can see, it's a really cool um, flame. I might have to show a video of this burning. But this is in the fragrance Frosted Pumpkin, I believe. Golden Pumpkin. Golden? Golden Pumpkin. And it just smells like a fresh pumpkin. Just like a fresh pumpkin. It's super good. It's very, very, very wide, the opening. So it definitely takes a while for it. I'd probably say five hours for the whole top to get liquefied. But it's really cool because you light it and then it's all like this big ribbon. It's really cool. This was like $25, I think. And then I just picked up a Woodwick candle, a full size, in Campfire Marshmallow. And I've burned this two times. It burns really clean. This is like Marshmallow Fireside, the old Marshmallow Fireside for Bath & Body Works, not the newer Summertime S'mores and the new Marshmallow Fireside, the older version, which I prefer a lot better than the other version. But this is a really nice scent. I actually really kind of like this one. But anyway, that was my very small four-minute haul. Um, I didn't pick up a whole lot of stuff. Um, I really didn't get anything new in the mail or anything. I'm just really waiting for um, the 2 for 22 sale to get some more candles for Bath & Body Works, but that's basically it. So anyway, I am so thankful for my faithful subscribers because I know that you guys believe in me, I know that you guys care about me, and I care about each and every one of you. I know that the people who are subscribed to me are true subscribers, and the people who believe 
things that they shouldn't believe. Um, just because somebody doesn't like somebody doesn't mean they should talk crap about somebody, should I say. But there's really nothing you can do about immature people. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!